My name is Lillian Cabral. I work at LAC USC Medical Center. I made 39 years October 1st. Back in 1956 on the eighth floor, my mother was in labor with me. 2017, here at LAC USC, AKA General Hospital, I am labor. Etched in stone in the front of this building that was built in, in the 1920s is a st stating that the hospital was erected in order for the community and the patients could come here without worrying about the finance. The doctors came in here and gave their time. As they became uh, doctors, they gave it and there was not a bill sent out to the, to the community, to a patient, and that's etched in stone. How the old saying, until it's etched in stone, well, it's etched in stone there. This is what healthcare should look like. I was in other hospitals, convalescent hospitals, I was a nursing attendant, and I had a worker from LAC USC that was doing uh, part-time. She said, you're wasting your talent. Go to LAC USC and put in your application. Made the application out, and within three months, I got a phone call stating that I would join the family of LAC USC, and that was back in 1978. Just to give back to the community, to the patients who I loved was, was fabulous because I didn't come to get a job for the County of Los Angeles. I came to create my career and that's what I have done. And as a healthcare worker, you have to have it in your heart. It can't be on a piece of paper that says NA, RN, or, or doctor. Those are important, but it has to come from the heart. In order for you to be successful in helping others, you have to have it. And, and you have to be able to know that you're going to get some very kind patients and you're going to get some patients that are literally want to hit you and spit on you, but that's okay because that's what they feel today. I um, got married, had the American dream, and I got a divorce and I was devastated. The union was what I needed to sustain myself. I wasn't collecting a county welfare check. I had a county job. And I was thankful. My middle child, thank God, she listened to her mother and she is now a patient resource worker where she started at Olive View and then she transferred down here to LAC USC where I have a chance to be with her, see her grow, Seeing what the job that my mom did, a lot of times uh, we didn't have a babysitter, so we'd come to work and see mom in action. And I love what it was um, to hear the stories about the ER, and I wanted to give back um, because I think that's a part of mom that I got, and I wanted to give back. In four years, I will be able to pass the baton over to her and I will feel so good because I know she will continue the work, my work, the union's work, and at here at LAC USC. I understand that the only way we have a voice is through our unions and through groups that are out there that are sick and tired of being sick and tired and they have a voice, but man, can you imagine the force that we will have, that we do have. And that's why the union that I work for, that I am here for, and believe me, it's not perfect, but I'll be darned if I'll let anyone come in here and tear it down, not on my watch.